تعالی now this word yadilun it appeared in the first ayah also alhamdulillah alladhi khalaqa samawati wal ard wa ja'ala as-samawati wan nur thumma alladhina kafaru bi rabbihim yadilun now what does it denote the main you know discussion of this surah has finished here the beginning and the end the similarity now the rest of the two sections they are so to say the concluding remarks final remarks just you know in a sermon you know a person who is giving a sermon he goes to the right to the left he deals different aspects of this issue and then you know he comes to the main issue again so that you know the real thing which is to be impressed it becomes absolutely clear after all this discussion now this is the essence qul taala atlu ma harrama rabbukum alaykum say to them o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam come i tell you i narrate to you this is with authority you know i narrate to you what your rabb your lord has declared as prohibited for you you have concocted these beliefs and these ideas and this you know your, your creation of your own imagination and thinking all these beliefs and rules etc etc having no proof no documentary proof no intellectual basis but now i tell you what is the real deen this is the basis of the deen of allah and here if you can count these are the 10 commandments of quran number 1 allah tushriku billah shay'a don't associate with allah as a partner or equal in any respect neither in his person nor in his attributes nor for that matter in his rights nor for that matter in his authority four aspects of shirk associating someone in the person of muhammad who is allah associating someone making the clear him equal in some attribute of allah in some authority of allah in some right of allah number one second wa bil walidain ihsana you have to do good behave gently to your parents number 3 wala taqtulu auladakum min imlaq don't kill your offsprings for the fear of poverty naqnu narzuqukum wa iyyakum is we we are providing you also we shall provide them also don't think you are providing for your own self provider is allah he will provide for them also number 4 wala taqrabu al fawahish ma zahara minha wa ma batan don't go near the indecencies the open shameful acts don't go near them whether they are openly done committed or secretly number 5 wala taqtulu al nafs allati harrama allah illa bil haqq don't assassinate don't kill don't murder any human being any human soul whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared to be haram illa bil haqq except in the course of law in the course of justice if somebody has killed someone maybe he is also killed for him in the nafs bin nafs but without that without any cause you know not killing any human being zalikum wasakum bihi la'allakum ta'allaq taqilu allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these things he has enjoined upon you so that you may think and you may ponder you may understand that these are the basis of human society and social order number 6 wala taqrabu mal al-yatim illa billati ahsan don't go near the property of the orphan but in the best way don't try to eat it up before he becomes you know he comes of age he becomes mature hatta yabluga shudda till that time that he reaches his puberty and he becomes a mature person number 7 waful kaila wal mizana 7 and 8 fill the mayor when you are mirroring something and you are giving selling something by mayor fill the mayor wal mizana and you know give the full weight number 8 bil qist with justice la nukallifu nafsan illa wusaha we are not going to hold responsible anybody any soul except according to his capacity we shall we are not going to charge anyone any soul but according to his capacity and number 9 wa iza qultum fa'dilu walau kana dhu qada qurba if you say something if you are giving a verdict in verdict in any dispute then it should be just do justice although the 
کنسرن پارٹی مائٹ بی ریلیٹڈ ٹو یو بٹ یو آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹو ڈو اینی فیور یو نو یو ہیو ٹو بی جسٹ اینڈ لاسٹ بٹ ناٹ دی لیسٹ اینڈ یو مے سے دس از دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ دی موسٹ کمپریہنسو بب عہد اللہ اوفو اینڈ فل فل دی کوویننٹ ود اللہ سبحان جسٹ ریکال دی فرسٹ آئی آف سورت المائدہ یا یو الدین آمن اوف بالعقود عقد این احد یا دی سیم عقد این احد وب عہد اللہ اوفو اینڈ آل دی کوویننٹس یو ہیو میڈ ود اللہ سبحان و تعالی فل فل دیم ذالکم و صابحی لعلکم تذکرون دس از وٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہیز انجوائنڈ اپون یو سو دیٹ یو می بی ریمائنڈڈ سو ایکچولی دس از دی بیسز اف دین یو ہیو جسٹ فرگاٹ آل دیز تھنگس your all mal practices in your dealings with human beings but you know you are very sensitive about these things this animal is haram we can't i can't ride it and this is you know this the flesh of this this animal i can't take and these superstitions as i told you last night they haunt the people even after coming to believe because they have very deep roots in the subconscious minds of the people of the nations we most of us who have converted to islam from indian background we have still you know because they had a belief that a person dies you know his soul his soul coming over to the to the house doesn't run away for three days then you know you give some charity and then it will run away so they were doing tija third day you know and we are doing soyam we just you know translated tija into soyam from hindi it was persian so actually it's the same thing the same customs the same superstitions but if the poor soul is coming to your house what it is going to do to you let let it enjoy joy you know the company of the of the beloveds the sons and the daughters and, and maybe wife etc etc you want to make him run off but for you then you have to feed some people you know the clergy when there is a there, the religion becomes a profession they need something to eat and the best things to be you know offered in eating and this is what happens everywhere so these are the things you know they haunt the nations even after they have changed their creeds they have changed their beliefs but these things you know they are they have deep roots into their uh, subconscious mind into their psyche wa anna hadha sirati mustaqima and declare o muhammad this is my path which is very straight these three ten things you know ten commandments of torah are very important and here i have counted for you ten commandments of quran wan hadha sirati mustaqiman fattabi'u this is my path which is absolutely straight so follow it wala tattabi'u subula and don't follow other paths fatafarraqa bikum an sabilihi they will scatter you away from the path of allah this is the only path ihdina sirat al mustaqim we ask from allah subhanahu wa taala in every raka of our prayer ihdina sirat al mustaqim wa an hadha sirati mustaqiman this is my path this straight path fattabi'u wa la tattabi'u subula fatafarraqa bikum an sabili zalikum basakum bihi la'allakum tattaqun this allah subhanahu wa taala has enjoined upon you so that you may have real taqwa so that you may be saved from the fire of hell so actually this is for you you are to benefit this from this you know not that allah needs something summa atayna musa al kitab tamam ala allazi ahsan and then we gave the book to moses moses also it was to fulfill all the person and to complete for the person who wanted to do good whosoever wants to go on the right path Torah was a guide to him. What tafsir al likul shay and all details were discussed in that. Wa hudan and it was a guidance. Wa rahmatan and a mercy. La Allahu bi liqai rabbihim yuminu yuminu so that they should believe in the meeting with Allah. Now this is most crucial. This akhira, this returning towards Allah. Inna lillah wa inna ilaihi raji'oon. This is most fundamental. if we have the belief in it then we shall be very serious regarding all the things we will think twice before doing something what will happen on the day of judgment i have to go and meet my lord 
اینڈ آئی ہیو ٹو اسٹینڈ بفور ہم اما امن خاف و مقام رب ہی و نہن نفس عن الحوا فعن الجنت ہی الباوا ہو ہیز بین فیئرنگ دیٹ اے ڈے ہیز ٹو کم دیر بی این آور دی فکسڈ آور دی اپوائنٹیڈ آور اسا وین آئی ول بی ریزرکٹیڈ اینڈ آئی ول ہیو ٹو اسٹینڈ بفور مائی لارڈ فار دی گرانڈ اکاؤنٹیبلٹی آف دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ اف دس فیئر از دیئر ہی یو نو ہز بیہیویئر ول بی اوکے ہی ول تھنک ڈوائس before even uttering a word will i be able to justify this word on the day of judgment before allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that i could say this wa hadha kitabun anzalnahu mubarakun and now after moses whom we gave torah this is the book that we have sent down hadha kitabun anzalnahu mubarakun it's most profound It can bring all the good which is inherent in your nature. Bring forth. It will, it will just as the water, you know, from the rain water can bring forth the hidden treasures of the earth. In the same way, the hidden treasure within you, the divine soul within you, the divine spark, as some of the Western philosophers use this term, divine spark in man. There is a divine spark. So that divine spark of, of within you, it can bring it forth it can develop it so this is the book most profound hada kitabun anzalnahu mubarakun fattabi'uhu follow it now wat taqul la'allakum turhamun and have fatwa hai taqwa of allah try to save yourself from his displeasure so that you can be allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does mercy upon you